Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, everybody. Welcome to 10 Minutes with Teddy and Tina. A discussion of life, love, family, and faith. Yeah. This episode is called Receive, Then Give. This is a continuation from the last one. This is what we call the extended version. Yeah. Uh, We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going. Yeah. Receive, then give. Well, why do we need to receive? Because you can't give nothing that you ain't got. Hmm. And... Uh, Many of us are trying to give from a place of emptiness Mm -hmm. and um, um, we've skipped over receiving. We just hear that we're supposed to give and we try to give and we skip over the receiving part. Um, But I I believe that God wants us to go back and have a do over um, because God is freely giving us so much love and joy and peace and forgiveness. And I mean, he breathed his breath into us and made us, uh, just like him. He caused yeah. us all to be. And I think that many of us just don't understand that it's that simple. The goodness of God seems too hard to be true. Uh, Jesus love me, forgive me. Seems too hard to be true. So we just try to work to do what we believe he wants us to do as opposed to receiving what he's given to just be an expression of him. Mm. And um, so we, we, we got to receive this thing because you can't give it if you didn't get it first. You were created for a purpose. Yeah. The purpose is to be like God. If we're made in his images, if, if we're made in his image, images reflect reflect yeah images reflect images don't have to try to reflect an image is whatever it is that's reflecting on them they're just reflecting it and so we don't have to try to be like i gotta try 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 if we sit up and just receive all that jesus is if we sit up and receive all that god is turn all of the other stuff off detach from all of that stuff get in the presence of god and just let him download just pour into us we can easily go out and give that. And I know that seems real. A lot of people like, mm, I don't know. Right. But the truth is, you ain't gotta try to you ain't gotta try to be something that you've become. Right. If you become it, you just you just be it. Yeah. You ain't gotta try to get something to give it away that you already have. You have it. Right. You just you just here. Well a lot of it's, us don't know we have it though. There you go. Yeah. There you go. A yeah. lot of us don't know. Yeah. A lot of us don't know that God has given away love and mercy and grace and you don't have to earn it. You don't have to work for mm-hmm. it. It's a gift freely given. If we could work for it, that would be called witchcraft. We could all use our manipulative ways and all of our good works mm-hmm. and all of these things to get in God's good graces yeah. for our own uh, our own agendas and our own purposes, yeah. but that's not God's way. He wants us all to be a duplication. He told, told Jesus told us to pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You know what God wants for us? To duplicate heaven right down here on earth. So he has equipped us with every single thing that we need to do that. The problem is many of us have not received and that's why we find it hard to give. This is God's way of giving us what we need to receive. He says, first John 4, 10, this is real love. Mm -hmm. We talk about love now. This is real love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. A lot of us have not received the love of the Father. We just go out trying to be like Christ and do what God wants us to do without receiving his love. And so this says, it's not that you love me, mm-hmm. but that I love you and gave Jesus to take away your sin. Wow. Have we, do we consistently thank God for Jesus? Do we receive Jesus on a daily basis? Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done, for showing me love, giving me love, bringing me back to in relationship with the father. Do we do this? That's really what the Lord is trying to show us. That's what love is. You got to receive it before you can give it away. So do I um, remember when we were going through the challenges of our marriage because Mm -hmm. of infidelity and, and I knew that God's way was forgiveness. And I thought God was so mean Mm -hmm. to torture me with this whole concept of forgiveness. And I'm thinking, well, why I got to do that? I've been hurt and here you go with the forgiveness and be good and love folks and all this kind of stuff. This is mean and horrible, God. And I don't th- I think you're asking too much of me. But what the problem was is I did not fully understand that I have been given love. I have been forgiven. Everything that God is asking for me to reflect 
is because I've been given it. I didn't have to try to forgive. Forgiveness is inside of me because Jesus is inside of me. I am God breathed. I am a reflection of my creator and I can do it because he did it. But in my mind, which was unrenewed, I'm thinking, no, I can't. I'm being um, conformed to the American way, the uh, uh, this culture and that culture. I'm not being transformed by the renewing of my mind so that I can pr prove what is God's good and acceptable and perfect will. Mm. So God's good and acceptable and perfect will now seems like a horrible, hard task that's far removed because I don't know everything God is asking of me. I already am. Mm. I already have, but I did not know it. Yeah. So I too, mm. like my husband says, I had to sit in God's God's presence and 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 understand how you expect me to do this because mm. I can't do this. And he said, Yes, you can, Tina. You can forgive your husband because I forgave you and I'm inside of you. Mm. You can love your enemies because I love my enemies and I love you and I've empowered you with love and I'm inside of you. Mm. You can overlook those faults and transgressions of whoever else because I did it for you and right. I'm inside of you. Receive me and be like me. Mm -hmm. That receive, receive me and give me. Re come on. <laughs> receive me and give me. You ain't got to <clears throat> figure it out and come up with my one, two plan. Just get in my presence mm. and receive me. Yeah. Be like me. Yeah. Give me away. Yeah. That's all I'm asking you to do. But we're so full of so many things ourselves. that namely ourselves <laughs> that's not God. That's what we try to give. Well, yeah. my perspective and my thought is I would do dot, dot, dot. So that's what we're trying to give away because we're full of us. But yeah. we need to, that's what the Bible says. Jesus says, if any man wants to follow me, he must deny himself, mm -hmm. die to you, take up your cross and follow me. Mm -hmm. And we just, Lord, I got to take up my cross and I got to follow Jesus, but we don't realize, but I'm full of Jesus. Yeah. This is the creator of all mankind, the one with all the power, all the authority, all the love, all the ability. This is not a task. Mm -hmm. This is this is empowering to know that I can actually deny me, take up my cross and follow you. You better than me anyway. It's an actual honor to be able to reflect the Father. Man. I mean, it's an honor. It's a high honor. I would rather reflect him than myself on any day. I don't want to do me. You know what, Teddy? It's almost well, I like a. Do the Lord. It's like a super. <laughs> it's like a superhero power. Yeah. Like everybody can be selfish instinctively. Yeah. Everybody can be unforgiving. Mm -hmm. Everybody can just do me right. and be about me. How easy is it to actually love somebody who's unlovely? Mm. How easy is it actually? To give from somebody when you want to get. Yeah. How easy is it actually? It's a superpower yeah. that we've been given by a supernatural God. Yeah. And if we would just receive from the supernatural God, right. we can do the things that money can't necessarily help you do right. this. Education, intellect, uh, clout, and high status can't help you do this. But the supernatural power of God, if we would just receive this supernatural yeah. love and supernatural peace and supernatural joy and supernatural favor and supernatural kindness and compassion, we could give it away. Baby, read, that, read those two scriptures. Okay. Uh, Colossians, Colossians 3.13. Mm -hmm. This one is about forgiveness. I had to receive this before I could give it mm -hmm. away. Make allowances for each other's faults wow. and forgive anyone who offends you. Let's just say that again. Make allowances for everyone's, for each other's faults mm -hmm. and forgive anyone who offends you yeah remember the lord forgave you so you must forgive others Read that one. my god ephesians 4 31 through 32 get rid of all bitterness rage anger harsh words and slander as well as all types of evil behavior instead be kind to each other tender-hearted forgiving one another just as god through christ has forgiven you wow. you can forgive because you've been forgiven wow. you can love because you've been loved wow. you can overlook the offense because god overlooked yeah. your offense and it's the god in you yeah. he's empowering you jesus is inside of you giving you exactly what you need yeah. to give what he's commanding you to give there's grace on your life to love and forgive yeah there is grace on your life to love and forgive Grace is unmerited favor. You didn't earn it. It's just God's presence. It's his spirit. It's his life lived through you. You have the grace to love and forgive because you've become love and grace and forgiveness and mercy. You've yeah. become the exact thing that you need to give away.
And if you feel like you haven't, it's because your mind has not been renewed. Yeah. So get in the presence of God and receive all of these gifts. Become aware of all of these, these gifts. Have your mind renewed to all of these wonderful blessings that have come upon you so that you can give it away. Bless the people. May the blessings of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrow forever be yours. And we'll see you in two weeks.